Hello, my fellow fans of Faerun, and welcome back to Neverwinter Nights, The Shadows of Unjuntide. Alright, so last time we got the adventure started, we got through all the necessary background details, and we even picked up a couple of quests. So the first thing we're going to do today is explore Drogon's mansion and pick up whatever we can. I'll also be considering if I want to take either of these two, either Dorna, the rogue cleric, or Xanos, the barbarian sorcerer, it's probably going to be Dorna. Because healing is useful. Okay, so in this specific module, there is a lot of stuff in this module that is not necessarily useful. Like, I have not figured out what to do with this meat or this belladonna. I expected that there could be something you could make with them, but I've never found it. And there's more meat, and I think there's fish here, so... Which is funny, because there are many things that seem unusable, but become awesome. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is come down here. This is Drogon's lab. Hehe, <clears throat> <laughs> you not know how to get past the ward. Reese does. <clears throat> oh my, what is this? Is it another kobold come to wreak havoc on Master's things? Well, Reese will fight them. Yes, she will. She will protect her Master's things this time. No, no, it is someone I recognize. It gladdens my heart. Yes, it does. Hello there, Kigro. Hello, Reese. How are you? I am still being Reese. Oh, yes. I'm not dead. It is a good thing. But you should be knowing that Kobold stole Master's stuff. Yes, they did. But, Kigro, you cannot help. They are gone. And that is sad. But Reese feels something is wrong with the master. Tell me what happened to him, please. Oh, please. All right. I am lawful, so we shan't be lying. Master Drogon was poisoned by the kobolds. Oh no! Oh no! Poor, poor master. Poor, poor Reese. If master dies, then Reese will be all alone. Reese should go up to master. Yes, she should. But master wanted Reese to stay down in his laboratory. Oh yes, that is what he said, and Reese must obey kind master. Oh, Kigro, Reese feels terrible right now. Maybe if we talk a bit, you will make me feel better. Yes, yes, I love to talk. Do you want to hear a riddle? Uh, yeah, tell me your riddle. Oh, yes, yes, my riddle. A fine choice for a fine man. Here is my riddle. A woman has five children, and half of them are sons. Is this possible? Yes, if more than two and a half of them are boys. Oh yes, yes it is true. Reese thinks you are smarter than you look, or else very lucky. It is true if the other half of the children are also males, so she must have five boys. It is a trick, see? I never said the other half were not boys. Do you want to talk about something else? I want to ask you some questions. Questions are not as good as riddles, unless the questions are riddles. But you ask and you try to answer. How do I get into the laboratory? You cannot get in the way the kobolds did. No, you cannot. Reese cannot even believe that the kobolds did get in. I saw them coming to the lab and they knew they could not get across and I thought it was going to be so much fun watching them from behind the magic circle. I was about to appear to them and talk and yes it was, but then they stopped and you would not believe what they did. No, you would not. They threw dust on the circle. What did that do? It must have been magic dust. Oh yes, or it would not have worked. No, no, no. Stupid ugly kobolds walked right over the symbol and looted all of Master's things. Well, maybe not all of his stuff, no, no. There'd be some stuff left, little bits of stuff that stupid kobolds not think would be important, or no could find. But you cannot get into Master's lab, no you may not. Why can't I go in? 
oh, BC, you know, can you tell you that? No, no, no. Master never tells anybody that except for BC. And now Master is upset. Yes, he is. Mercy can feel it. Yes, yes, yes. Master trusted Reese to protect his treasures, and now Reese has failed. Never will Reese fail Master again. You know, ask to get in anymore. No, no, no. All right. So there is a reason I'm going down this line of questioning. If we push her, she thinks we're a kobold in disguise. Well, you'll see. Uh, I don't think this is a persuade you can actually succeed at, but I haven't tried it at higher levels or anything, so... Surely you can trust me to go in. No! What are you, stupid like Kobo? We said no, and me mean no. But wait, Reese knows what is going on. Yes, she does. We'll, have, we'll not be tricking her, nasty little kobold. I think you're confused, fair creature. You have a nicer way of speaking than a kobold, but I still see the truth. You must be a kobold in disguise. That is what I mean. You will not be getting past me, nor will I bring the treasure to you. Unless, maybe, if Reese could test you, then maybe she could bring you Master's items. Yes, yes, yes. Maybe Reese could ask you riddles. That would be good. Yes, it would. Alright, ask me your riddles. You answered one riddle correctly already. Yes, you did. So Reese will just give you two more riddles to answer, because she is kind and caring. Yes, she is. A prisoner is going to be killed and is told by executioner that him must make one statement. If his statement be true, then him will be drowned. If his statement is false, him will be hanged. What statement can make can him make to confuse the executioner and not be killed at all? Alright, so this is a binary problem. You have to say one thing that will not get you killed. And if he makes the statement that he will be hanged, he will avoid it. I am innocent and I am guilty will lead to one of either the hangings, I will be drowned is easy because he tells the truth and they'll just drown him. But if he says he'll be hanged, he can't be drowned because then he lied. And he can't be hanged because he told the truth. So, I will be hanged. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! That is the thing to say! Then the executioner cannot hang you, or you told the truth, and he should not. He should drown you. If him drowns you, then you lied, and you should be hanged. You'll be pretty smart, much smarter than Kobold, I am thinking. But Kobolds turned out to be smarter than me, thought, when them break into Master's ward. This is a hard riddle, so you should take your time to figure it out. Yes, you should. Are you ready? <coughs> yes. There be an island which is deserted. Yes, it is. This island has four fruit trees, each with a different kind of fruit. There be a group of wizards who visit the island each year, for they like it. Yes, they do. Each wizard eats two types of fruit, but each group of two trees can only have one wizard in common, which means only one wizard can eat from the apple tree and the pear tree. So, what you must be telling me is how many wizards belong to this group? Uh, okay, give me a second. This one's a... E, B, A, C, A, D, B, C, B, D. Okay, this one's six. That is very smart of you to know that. It looks... It took Reese a long time to figure that one out. I guess you must be who you seem to be, and I will have to trust you to help Master. I will go and fetch the items for you from my secret hiding place. Reese hopes you will really help Master, Kikro. And we shall. Right. And she gave me a bunch of things. Take this and help Master. I worry about him much. Oh, yes, I do. Good luck be with you, Kigro. You will need it. Alright. So, as I said, I, without cheating in the game, I'm not sure if you can even get in here. I don't think I've ever seen a way to get in, so. But. That's that. Alright. Coming back up. I think. Yeah, I want to try and do this solo, but I don't think I'm going to be able to succeed very well. Maybe after a couple of levels we'll go solo, but for if now... If you're here to help Master Drogon, you'll need to get underway as soon as possible. Do you need my help? Bringing an extra pair of hands would be a good idea. Well, you know me. If you need shop, I... Excuse me. 
Well, you know me. If you need sharp eyes to watch for ambushes or a nasty trap dealt with, I'm your girl. What do you say? Thank you. That would be a good idea. Great. We'll have must Rogan's artifacts back in no time. And maybe pick up a coin or two ourselves along the way. Let's go. Cool. Alright. <sighs> My Scottish accent's gonna suck, guys. I'm sorry. So, just like in the first game, there is a divining pool. If you lose any important items, they will appear in there for a price. I want to come up here because there are a couple of chests that you can loot through. And we'll take some of these. A scare, room key, and some more focus crystals. That's awesome. For now, I will equip this comma, but as I go up in monk levels, my uh, unarmed attacks will be much more powerful. So, alright. Now, the difference in this game from one of the differences in this module versus the main one is you can open up your partner's inventories and... Unless there's something that is very important to them, like her battle axe, her armor, and her short sword, I can take stuff out of her inventory and put it in my own. I can also go ahead and open this up, give Dorna her items from her footlocker. Now, if you tried opening that without her key, it would explode on you. Just like Xanos is a locker, so we're not going to open that. I already got my stuff out of my foot locker. But Misha. Misha doesn't lock things. And she certainly doesn't trap things. So we're going to take her stuff. Reese's room key opens up Master Drogon's master bedroom. And in here, there is this chest. And I have never gotten this chest open either. And I'm not sure if it can be opened. I can't do that. There are several magical wards on this chest, which you cannot seem to penetrate. I want to know what's in there. For the life of me. Alright, so beyond just being a home base for me to come to and sleep if necessary, you can get healing from the elf downstairs. Okay. There's some crafting items here, and alchemists by the way, awesome. But beyond all of that, this is an important tool. This is the grinder, and what the grinder does is it helps you make magic items. Mostly focus crystals, and how do I create focus crystals, or you can create focus crystals. Yep, so you come over to the grinder. Now, I could use an Avidant Terrain, and I actually did use a Quartz Crystal up, which I did not mean to do. Nope, there it is. You can use these gems and Quartz Crystals to make that stuff, but this also has the added benefit of if you put random things in here, you can make magic items. So I have an actually pretty good magic sword. Can't identify anything yet. And take the Tanglefoot bag. Uh, I don't think there's any real weapons I can use here other than the slings. So, yep, we'll leave that alone. At some point I might uh, root around back in here pick that stuff up and just sell it for cash, but for now, that's all we need to do in here. And now, we shall head out to the outside and to our first real fight. Actually, I think there's a couple of fights up immediately outside, so... Ayala. I will remember that name eventually. It's just kind of a mouthful to say if it's not right in front of you. Alright, so coming out here... Ah, yes, I get to do this again. 
Uh, I'm so glad I can find the stuff that I can interact with. But we've got a fight with a rat. My attacks suck at the moment because I am a lowly first level. There is a, another couple of rats here. Oh, no, 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 that's not a truck. Uh, ah, I got one. Alright. So even rats right now are giving us decent XP. Like, uh, there's a hurt dog here. Uh, I don't think I'm ever gonna be able to speak with animals, so. Because I'm gonna take sorcerer and monk, which don't naturally get those speak with animal traits, so. If you are able to speak with animals, like if you're a ranger or druid, there are some interesting items you can find because of it. But for now, hey look, there's some kobolds. My steel will strike true. And of course, kobolds are tiny little lizard dudes who make traps and are the butt of d, &D oh, jokes that used to be goblins that were the butt of those jokes. And these kobolds actually kill the cat. Soon, so that they can eat it. Okay, nothing left. All right, first couple of fights we've gotten through. You know what? I feel bad for this dog. I'm gonna heal it. Stop moving. You are uninjured. Alright. And then Drogon's territory is right outside of a small till town called Hilltop. I would speak with you a moment. I suppose I have time right now. What is it? Well, it's just that this is a big thing. We're leaving and everything behind to find these kobolds and artifacts we don't even know about. I don't even know where to start. All I can think about is asking Drogon why. I don't know if he'll survive. There's a lot to No. But uh, let's be optimistic. He'll be fine. We'll make sure of it. Sure, you've progressed farther than all of us, so you're not worried of at all. I have a couple of doubts, I guess, but I trained hard too. Master Drogan has always been a good teacher. I owe it to him to try my best to help him. And if we make a little gold along the way, all the better. You know, kid girl, I was thinking a little about that myself. I'm not above pickpocketing a few coins here and there, just so long as we get the job done. That's the way of Vergidane. A little luck, a little skill, and a little bit of something for yourself in your pocket at the end of the day. We've talked enough, I think. The sooner we head out, the sooner Master Drogon is better. We can count up the spoils. Let's go! Alright guys, and with that, I think I'm going to call this an episode. We are immediately outside of Hilltop, so we'll take care of all the Hilltop stuff next episode. So, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time on Shadows of Undertide. See you then.